Hey everyone, welcome to Beauty News with Wendy, the weekly show where I share with you the latest and trending news in the world of beauty. This is episode 6, let's get started. Beauty blogger M. Ford has made a video that will tug at your heartstring. M struggles with acne and have been posting videos on her channel with no makeup on. Negative comments like, what's wrong with her face and you look disgusting begin pouring in. She decided to make this video to show how degrading comments can affect a person and the unrealistic expectations set by magazines and social media in today's world. As a society, we're so used to seeing false image of perfection on comparing ourselves to unrealistic beauty standards, says M. It can be hard to remember the most important thing. You are beautiful. You can find this video on M. Ford's YouTube channel. I did see this video and it made me really, really emotional. And this is a complete opposite from what we talked about last week with Nikki Tutorial's the, uh, Power of Makeup video where it shows how great makeup can make you feel. Um, and in this one, it's more of her using it to cover up what she finds ugly. Acne is not pretty. A lot of people struggled with it. I struggled with it. I had a really hard time with it where I was called names in school where I didn't want to go out. I was really unhappy until finally I just slowly healed and gotten out of that phase. But even now when I get a small pimple and I'm just a freak out because society makes it not okay to have acne. Like You have to have porcelain, perfect skin. You can't have anything on your skin. And it's it's really sad because it's easy to sit behind a computer screen and a keyboard and just look at somebody's video and you see their true face and they do struggle with acne and there's nothing they can do about it. That is just, that's just their face. It's how it is. And it happens to everybody, almost everybody. And to write, you don't even know this person. You don't know how they feel. And just because they put themselves on YouTube, you think it's okay to say, hey, you're ugly. You should go kill yourself. And I can't even look at you. And all these quotes that I was seeing on the video and it just brought me back to my like high school days when I struggled with acne and I was just like I felt exactly like that but at least I will give it to those kids they at least said it to my face at the very least I think people nowadays probably don't have the courage to do that they'll say whatever it is um they want when it's just typing words because they're just like oh whatever I'm just gonna troll or because I can't I don't care and or oh she deserves it and she can handle it because she put herself out there sure you know it comes with the territory of being a YouTuber, but yeah, I think, you know, so that's, that's really personal. You're just not, you're not attacking her content. You're not attacking her makeup skills. You're attacking her and it's awful. Um, and I think the fact that it went viral, it's excellent. I think people can learn, you know, that's, that's really personal. You, you went to a completely different level and it's just not okay. And I think it also shows that you know, if certain women struggle with acne, they're in the same state, you know, and they feel awful, they see this video, they know that they're not the only one and they can reach out and, you know, talk to M4, which is why she made this video because a lot of viewers, you know, on top of those negative comments, people who struggle with acne also were writing her in the comments, please help. And I think when she did put the makeup on in the video to cover up off her acne, I, her skills are amazing. Like, I would bow down to this girl because if I had those makeup skills when I was in high school, I'd probably feel a little bit better. But the it's just it's such an ugly thing, I think, these comments. And I hope this video can open up a lot of eyes for a lot of people out there to think before you speak, think before you type slash comment, you know? So if you want to check out M4's video, go ahead and look in the link in the description box below. This is a section of the show I would like to call Shop or Drop. I picked out a couple of topics and or products and I want to tell you my thoughts on whether I would shop them or drop them. If you've heard of Young Meek, you might be familiar with their best-selling Moot Struck 3D Fiber Lashes Mascara, which delivers a falsy effect look with a dual tube set of transplanting gel and natural fibers. Young Meek will be releasing a new version called 3D Fiber Lash Plus. This new mascara promises to deliver 400% increase in length and volume. The new formula introduces rayon fiber to the mix. The packaging also got a makeover with a new brush to evenly distribute the transplanting gel and reduce clumping. This product will be available July 15th. I am totally buying this. If you saw my previous video, that's not beauty news, but the review for and demo for Young Meek's 
Moodstruck 3D, what they've had for a while now. I loved it. I have, I'm not wearing it today. I have very short, straight, sparse lashes. So any mascara that will give me a bigger, like, full lash look without having to use falsies is a win in my book, and I loved it. So the fact that they're coming out with a new formula and a new uh, brush, because the brush right now is Hourglass, and the new one is kind of tapered, so it's smaller on the ends, and those are the brushes I personally like better. So I am really, really excited. The new rayon fiber, uh, I saw some before and after photos from the Yannick presenter who sent me the mascara to demo in the first place. She sent me some early photos of like the before and after comparison. And oh my god, I cannot wait. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get to demo it. I might have to buy it. So be it. If I do, I will buy it. I am really, really excited. Um, I can't wait. And I know I'm going to be online on July 15th just clicking the link and be like, all right, give it to me now. Just give it to me. Uh, so if you want to shop Nicole's link, I will go ahead and put it down in the description box below. Is it time to throw out your blotting paper? Say hello to Blotter Rozzy from Beauty Blender. It comes in a mirror compact with two reusable sponges and each sponge can last up to 60 days with proper cleaning. It's a unique teardrop shape contours to your face making blotting around the nose easier. The Blotterazzi is now available exclusively at Sephora and beautyblender.com for $20 and will be available nationwide in September. I think this is a buy. Uh, I don't use Beauty Blender, I use the sponge from Real Techniques, so I've actually never personally had any experience from the Beauty Blender sponges, but everybody raves about it. Uh, a lot of my professional makeup friends use it and they love it. So I believe it's a good product, professional makeup artists are using it. Um, I just bought the, the Real Technique one because it wasn't $20. But the blotting paper, which I also like, it's just not as environmental friendly. The sponges, each, they come to two, first of all, and each one lasts 60 days if you clean it properly. So two of them, that's four months. And it's $20 for the beginner, like the compact. And I think three, I'm sure they're gonna have refills that'll be just a little bit cheaper. And you clean it the same way you would a beauty blender sponge. I think also that the fact that it comes with the compact, it's easier because I don't like to carry bulky things in my purse. Like, you know, sometimes you, you're going out, you have a cute little clutch, and you can't fit your cell phone, your keys, your money, and, and credit cards, and lipstick, and a compact, powder compact. And it's like, that's so much. Like, then now you're carrying a clutch this big, and you're trying to go out and have fun, and you, you don't want to carry something smaller. So this one, it's in a teardrop shape. You, it comes with a mirror. You can go ahead and touch up your, or just, you know, blot away your shine and oil and not really need to repowder. I don't like to repowder too much because then it looks cakey and it settles into your fine lines like underneath the eyes. And I think the blotting, the blotting sponges are a really, really good idea. I, I looked them up today. It's $20. Uh, I looked it up on Beauty Blender. I'm going to go and see if they have it at Sephora, so I don't pay shipping and handling. But I, I think I am going to look into it and I'm going to wait for some reviews because it just recently released. And if it's good, I am going to go ahead and purchase it for myself. Because while I like blotting paper, they tend to get lost in my purse. I lose it. Um, they get crumbled up and then sometimes, you know, like the clean and clear one, the blue ones, they, it doesn't seal. So like the first couple papers gets wrinkly and dirty and then I don't use those because I'm not going to put something dirty on my face. So I think the overall, the sponges, the blotting sponges are going to be way more hygienic as well. All right, you guys, it's time for product spotlight. And as you see in front of me, I have some nail polish. So this week's product spotlight is the Sally Henson Miracle Gel Nail Polish. I first saw this because it was on sale at a drugstore and I was like, what is, I really, really like gel. I got gel nails actually done at a salon for my wedding and it lasted like two and a half weeks. I couldn't believe it. The only downside to the gel uh, formula is that you can't just like pop it off if you would um, acrylic. Not that I recommend it because that would ruin your nails, but you have to go back and get them to soak in and, and like, scrape it off with the scraper and then the process with the light and everything takes a long time because you know they put on a coat they bake it and you put on another coat and they bake it if you want designs like nail art and then they have to put that on and bake it and put the top coat and bake it so you're spending two and a half hours maybe that's exaggerating but maybe like an hour and a half 
at the salon and with these nail polish there's tons of shades they're coming out with new ones all the time now there's glitter uh, and matte and all this maybe not matte but there's glitter and shimmer and all this fun stuff and I like that they don't last as long as you you know would put uh, if you would compare it to like actual gel nails from the salon or if you have the at home light kit which I also have those last longer these are supposed to last for about 14 days two weeks for me they last about 10 because I'm, I'm rough with my hands I do a lot of you know like character work and dancing and all this stuff so my nails they're they get bumped and they get scrapes on them but these 10 days no chip and high shine is more than I can ask for and they don't require light just natural light we go outside or at home so I literally just do two coats put the top coat on I'm done and then I don't see chips for 10 days sometimes 12 if I'm really good <laughs> with my nails and the price is fair because you only need one bottle of this is like step two this is the top coat this is what activates the uv stuff and then you know all these other shades and these are just the four that i have I actually don't have that many because if you saw my nail polish collection you'd faint it's in, it's in a box and i need a second box there's i have too many so i try not to buy it until i'm out of a certain shade then i'm going to go ahead and switch them to the miracle gel but they're affordable they're um anywhere from 7.99 to 10.99 and at Target, CVS, Walgreens, all those other stores, there's usually always a coupon. So just shop when you get a coupon. I mean, you don't have to have it right now. So why not just wait until you have, you know, a coupon and shop for it. But these guys are awesome. Eventually, I feel like if they continue to come out with these, I am going to continue switching over all my shades to this because it lasts longer and I don't have to think about painting my nails all the time. Hey guys that's all the time we have for today's episode thank you so much for joining me and i will see you next time if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and share also i would like to start taking your questions so please feel free to send them to me via twitter at wendy lee zaney with hashtag beauty news with wendy see you next time